Okay, I just want to talk a bit about this overdrive that's behind the engine and why it's there. Um, this engine has a maximum speed of 3000 RPM and uh, when it's making 1500 horsepower it's got a torque output from the crankshaft of about 2500 pounds feet and you need to remember that figure. So 3000 RPM in top gear with this General Motors uh, TH400 transmission we're using it's straight through. So basically you get engine speed straight to the rear axle through the crown wheel and pinion ratio, which is three to one in the case of this one. And then when you do the maths, it gives you a top speed in top gear of about 95 miles an hour. It doesn't sound that great, but this Land Rover had a top speed of something like 60 when it was new. So that's quite a decent percentage increase in top speed. Um, until you think of how big the engine is. I mean, this engine, would pull that vehicle along at 95 miles an hour quite comfortably if it was doing about 750 rpm 750 so um it's going to be really at those kind of gear ratios cruising along in modern traffic on the motorway the engine is going to be doing 2500 rpm or more which is really high up in its in its range um the way that uh, vehicle manufacturers get over this problem is they put overdrives in the transmission so that the top gear or the top two or three gears let's say all put the output shaft of the gearbox faster than the input and the effect this has is that it brings the engine speed down when you're cruising and it makes it more economical it makes it quieter and so on and so forth but going back to the 2500 foot pounds of torque the problem is you can't put that into any kind of car transmission you're talking about heavy goods vehicle, truck transmissions and gearboxes and that kind of thing which are too big, too heavy um, and you know you can modify and you can buy drag racing gearboxes for that matter which can cope with those kind of figures but then you still end up with a top speed of 95 miles an hour um, so what we do is we speed up the output of the engine before then feeding it into the transmission so this is your transmission drive plate, the torque converter goes onto the back of it. There's an adapter plate which will actually go behind it. And the ratio in this overdrive is 2.6 to 1. So instead of having a top speed of 95 miles an hour, if you do the maths, you end up with a top speed of 240, which, all right, sounds crazy. We're not trying to do 240 here. Definitely not. What it means is that you've got what you would describe the top gear ratio as 80, give or take 80 miles per hour per 1000 RPM. So it means that at 1000 RPM, you're on the motorway doing 80 or 70 legally. And um, it, it's just running at a sort of speed where the engine is much more comfortable, you know, economical, producing masses of torque anyway, even at that speed. So. Um, you know, it's a pity we have to do this kind of thing because it makes the whole job a lot more difficult. Um, it does have one other advantage as well. If you look at the diameter of the, the flex plate here and the ring gear, which is an automotive one, um, you just wouldn't get a starter motor down the side of this engine. So it does make it a lot easier just to put the starter motor down the side here and have an adapter plate transmission on the back of it and it gets a whole lot cheaper. The transmission still has to be heavily modified to be able to cope with these kind of torques, even at a ratio of 2.6 to 1, but at least you can get it reliable. So the overdrive consists of a planetary gear set with a 2.6 to 1 step up ratio. If I just assemble that, um, the planet carrier goes inside the um, annual gear like that, and then this is the output. So that goes in the middle there. This is the output shaft which drives the transmission. That spline there goes inside that gear. And it's got a bearing housing at the back here to, to support this output shaft. This is the input shaft from the engine. So the back of the crankshaft on this particular engine looks like this. And the spline goes inside a spline here to drive the planet courier. And then basically, as I rotate the crankshaft, that output shaft goes 2.6 times faster.
So you go from a bit closer up. There's the crankshaft input terminal there. And there's the output gear. 